guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 12 of The Sentence of a Bookworm, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Episode 12. I still have like this weird feeling where her parents are going to force her to go to a noble. Like, I mean, because if we're officially meeting the high priest, is what today? Today, or, I mean, because we got two more weeks with this show, and then I just found out that it's getting an OVA. Like, I think two OVAs that'll be, and we already know that the show's getting a second season because I found that out, like, I think the day before episode 11 came out. So I was, like, really excited about that and the fact that we get to see more of this child's story. But, I mean, the way that, you know, we only have two more weeks left because this thing ended in 2019, it's ended in 2020. And I honestly thought they were going to have the last two episodes come out next week. Just to have it like in one big pack hour long thing. But I get it. But still, it just makes you wonder what the heck is going to happen next with this little girl. And I don't want anything bad to happen to her. But because she has this devouring and you don't know. She said about a year of most. That this girl could possibly still live until she has to die. And she has to live her life to the fullest. And I just don't want her to die because she's so freaking <coughs> precious. My throat. <laughs> so I'm stressed out. <laughs> and I don't like feeling this. I hate feeling this. True. Because it's not what he wants to do.
You know he's not going to take a while. Hmm? I bet. Come here, you okay? I got you. You're fine. Oh, God. Yeah, it kind of seems like you were married. Just, yeah. Oh, my God.
Of course. Everyone is. Yeah. Because if she chose to live with a noble, who knows if she ever would have been able to see her family again. Fine. You know what I honestly thought she was going to say? I, like, dead ass thought she was going to say, well, here, let me give you a whole bunch of money, and you just um, come stay with us. I don't like this. <laughs> it fucking hurts. Even though we're having happy moments in this episode and how we should be excited for loots, like, I'm still upset over mine. Oh. But you just have to be happy for her. Freaking finally. We've waited 12 freaking episodes for this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. Ah, uh, the pricking, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh! Freaky, finally we get to see him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So let me guess it was forbidden. Oh, no, okay, never mind. Mm. You okay? Oh my God, <laughs> look at her. <laughs> no, she's laughing. Right? Yeah, and plus, I don't think you want your parents to find out what happened. Books? Horse field. Where the books are. Basically, they want money. Yeah.
Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> well, at least she has something! Even though, you know, I mean, she had to quit with Mr. Ben, no, I get that. But, you know, Liz still has a job that's good. She has a new job and she's probably going to get paid for it as well. I'm happy for her. It's just, in a way, her parents just need to say yes. And we're going to see that in episode 13. Hopefully. Because, I mean, since we've now officially seen the High Priestess, we know we're going to see the ish that happened in episode 1. Maybe. Between episode 13 and 14, because those are the only two episodes we have to watch. And, I don't know. I mean, Jesus Christ. This episode went by so freaking fast. And finally, so many weeks. Freaking, it took 11 weeks. Technically 12, but 11 freaking weeks. To finally, even though I, I like, came into the series three weeks in. Um, but still. <laughs> freaking, finally. We were able to see what the freaking, um, what it was all the blessings and everything they had to go through because like i wish that they, the, they would have shown it with Tuli, but i get it mine is the main character and we have to see the pov in my perspective so i get that but still i mean but i'm glad we got to see it and we got to see the high priestess freaking finally instead of him just being a character that comes in like the last few moments for the next episode and it's, i'm happy i'm happy for her <clears throat> I know! <laughs> and of course, she's got to be happy. Yes! <laughs> ah, I don't know. We'll know until next week. Which is, oh my god, oh my god, she's so pretty, oh my god, all these freaking eye catches, I can't, oh my god, they're killing me. But yeah, he's right about that. We don't know if she'll be able to join until next freaking week, which, I mean, it puts a sour note on everything, but I mean, still, we ain't gonna know until next Wednesday, which is like the day of Christmas, so I think this is gonna be, hopefully, next week will be a really good episode for her. It's gonna be Christmas next week, for Christ's sake, and even though... The episode is coming out the day after Christmas in Japan. For us in America and probably any other else, it still will be Christmas for the rest of us. And I mean, I want good things for her on Christmas, for goodness sake. I mean, it's the it's the day of family and being together and such. Even though I'll be packing, I'll be like packing up ish because I'm moving and everything. But it's just, you want her to be successful. We got two episodes left before season one is done. And I don't want it to, like, really, we get all these good moments, and then, like, the last two, you just kind of fuck me over and stuff. I don't want that. I want nothing but utter and complete mother effing happiness for this little girl. Because, like, I, I've been saying it for weeks now, she deserves the world. She deserves everything and more. And, I mean, the, the fact that she is that close, but still so far from being able to read a big, a nice, I mean, a big fat book. A book, though. A big, behind book. Like, when you get a book and you finish it and you, you read it, and you're just reading and reading and reading. I love the fact that it didn't just move over. But you're reading and reading and reading until eventually you finish the book. And that feeling that you get and how happy you felt. Happy, sad, different emotions. And just being ecstatic. Like when you go into a bookstore or a library or something. Because like, oh my god. Like here in Florida, there's a couple of bookstores. Uh, well, bookstores, of course. But I, I think like in high school, I think it was my ninth grade or 10th grade um in high school I went to like probably the one one of the biggest libraries I've ever seen in my town and I was just in awe I don't really remember where it is I think it's more or less like kind of downtown but it was just mm, freaking phenomenal it was like the best days ever but just mm, with these last two episodes just make them be good let her parents say yes so that she can have this opportunity to go further into her life and just make herself happy. I mean, she only has a year left. There's a lot of things that she can do. And 
I just want everything for her. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 12 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 13. Bye, guys. Thank you.